going to look at in this video is how you can run your virtuoso goals and execute your tests from CICD pipeline tools such as Azure DevOps, Jenkins, Team City, Circle and more. So not only can you execute your test manually or via execution plans in virtuoso, you can also run it as you're releasing into each of your branches. So how do we do that? So there are a couple of methods. One is that you can utilize the virtuoso APIs. Now we're not going to be covering that in this video because actually the most common method utilized is to run a bash script as part of your pipeline which uses curl to execute the tests in virtuoso and receive responses and we do that we have a, a standard shell script available which you can run in your pipeline and the great thing here is you only need to populate into this a token which you generate from the platform and then the id of the goal and simply then you can run this uh, bash script as part of your pipeline and immediately start executing tests from your pipeline tools. So let's take a quick look at how to generate tokens and get the goal ID. So inside of Virtuoso, we always recommend when generating uh, tokens to create a dedicated user just for that purpose. In that user account, we can go to API tokens, generate a token, and we could call this uh, CICD, for example. Uh, we want this token to be uh, for all access to the system. And when we click on save, then we can generate the token that we put into the script. So we could copy that to the clipboard. Then in terms of getting the goal ID, you just need to look and go back in to the organization and the project dashboard and then pick the goal that we want to be able to run. And by doing that, when we look at the URL, we can see here that the goal ID here in this case is 11926. So when we look back at the documentation, we would simply replace virtuoso token with the token we generated and ID of a goal to execute with the goal ID. By doing that, we can now run the script as part of uh, the job and execute tests via the pipeline. And when you do that, you literally would have the first part of the job is to upload your code that you want to release. And then the second part would be to execute the script. When that executes, it returns a pass fail response and an execution link into the execution. And literally, once you've embedded it to see how that actually works, let's go ahead and run this pipeline. So let's run. And by doing that, we start the run, which will of course go and upload uh, the code. And we can see now that the uh, code has released into the branch. It's now executing the Virtuoso goal. So of course, now when it does this, it's running the script to call into Virtuoso with a token and starts executing the goal. And of course, then we have to allow time for that goal to complete. That could contain multiple journeys. And so therefore, it will take as long as that job takes to complete running through those. As we're doing this in Virtuoso, it's literally now running an execution. We are launching the bots to be able to test uh, in the headless browser to run the tests. And when it completes, we'll get the uh, execution results. And we can see now that has completed. It's passed the execution link, which if I clicked on that, it would take me to the execution. So the, the test reporting, the project activity, and I can see this is a pass response. Equally, if it was a fail, we would get a fail response. So that's how you can very quickly get uh, your tests executing via CICD pipeline tools that support running a bash script in this case.